Hey, make sure you guys check out our channel partner, Gamersubs. Go to gamersubs.gg and use code Zach for 10% off. It's keto friendly, zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar. I drink it to keep myself going, to keep myself energized. Carbs, What's going on here? Sugar. There it is. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, and you know what? If you're not into the whole caffeine thing, check out their caffeine free options. Oh, baby, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. They're good. Check out. They're their really, really, really good. Options. Oh baby, let me tell you. That's weird. Okay, now we now we got that fixed. I think we're done with the audio problems. Anyway, people, gamersubs.gg code Zach. We're gonna get started right after this. All right, there we go. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending where you are. Welcome to Zach Talks Tech, this impromptu last second live stream. Here's the deal, here's the deal. Uh, first of all, how's everything looking? Oh, this is nice. Everything is looking, This is, does it look different to you? It better look different. It looks a lot better. Uh, oh, you know what just happened here? Hold on. I gotta turn down my light. My light keeps on going back to 50%. I don't know why. Let's turn that off, turn it on. 30%, I can't get this oh, Godox to stay at 30. I constantly have to change it. It's really weird. Anyway, people, uh, some of my tech fam helped me uh, zero in my camera yesterday and that's why we're looking good. Well, we got our new angle over here. We got the titanium pen on deck to point at stuff. I'm not going to hit it, though, because it's glass. <laughs> this is titanium. <laughs> this is from Nomad. If you want to get yourself a boss-ass pen... Okay, check it out. The, see that? Right there. There's a link for you guys in the description. Yeah, check this out. Also, they have got these cool new chargers. This is 35 watts. Look how thin this is. It's like a matchbook. It's got the prongs here. USB-C, right? Even Apple people can enjoy this now? <laughs> I guess they could before. This is new. The link is down below. There's also a, a 65 watt version. So check that out, guys. Links are down there. But anyway, people, uh, we're back because uh, the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro are the best value in a smartphone this year, 2023. And you can't take that away from them. I don't care who you are, okay? Argue with me all you want. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Uh, but before we do, people, before we get into everything, I got to let you guys know that this stream is being brought to you by StreamYard. Check them out, StreamYard.com. Link is down in the description there. It's pretty simple to use. You pick a camera, you pick a microphone, and away you go. You can bring in sounds. You can bring in music. You can, oh, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Whatever you need to do, bring up to 10 people. You can repurpose your content to vertical, whatever you need to do. Push out to reels, shorts, TikTok, whatever. Good people there at StreamYard. You know what? And also, they sent me a duck. They sent me the StreamYard duck. Who we're gonna get in on the focus. Look at this. Look at this foot. Look at this. Look at this focus now. Look at this. What? Yeah. Right? Look at that. Well, as long as I cover my face. There we go. And then huh? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anyway, people, check out StreamYard. They're awesome. Uh, listen, if you just want to concentrate on the content and just go, and just go, StreamYard. It's 
Way to go, man. Uh, people. Lots of different ways you can support the channel if you want to. Become a channel member. Channel members are in the chat. We're going to talk to our channel members in a quick second here. They have the green writing next to them. Some of them are mods. Some of them are not. Channel members get priority chat. They get custom emojis they can use in the chat. So channel members, go ahead and use those emojis in there. Um, but you can also buy a coffee, buy a super chat, super thanks, whatever, super sticker. It's up to you. It's completely up to you, and I appreciate it. Uh, but by just watching and hanging out, being in the chat, hitting the like button, that helps out a ton. That helps out a ton. And if you're watching the replay, I'll be putting chapters down below so you can navigate around and get to where you need to go. All right, people. Let's jump in here and see who's here. Cool. People, I put the Discord link. It's pinned there at the top of the chat. So if you want to jump into our Discord and hang out with us and be a cool person, uh, you can do that. If you're not part of our Discord, you're not cool. I don't make the rules. Uh, Aaron Gamer is one of our channel members here. Kendra Sky, how you doing? Jimmy Fire Dragon. Let's go. Michael Pepper Tech. Only one problem. That's low angle is is two pixels. Pixeled, <laughs> too pixeled. <laughs> I think it's. I like this angle, man. I have to get used to using my left hand though, because I keep on going like this. But I like this angle, and I don't. I don't know if we're gonna keep it. Um, but we're gonna try this out for a little while, just for something different. It seems to work to show product and everything, because I can also flip. I can also flip the phone around this way and show you guys, and it seems to zero in pretty good, right? This is one of those AI wallpapers. It seems to zero in pretty good. So. We'll keep on we'll keep on doing this. Yes, they, they don't they don't look like they're straight, but they are. There now it looks straight. Even though it was anyway. Angles. <laughs> Michael Pepper, I hope you're doing well. Alan Mobley, good afternoon, bud. Like the surprise stream. Yeah, you know, okay, okay. So here's why here's why we're doing a stream. Alan, here Alan, I'm gonna tell you right now. By the way, you see you guys see this dope pen? This is from Nomad. I don't know if this is gonna focus because my face is here. Let me let me <laughs> just put it on here. Uh, this is the this is the new titanium pen from them. So this this is their titanium pen. You guys can see the the logo in there. Uh, this is their stainless steel pen. This one's definitely he heavier, but man, that titanium. Let me see if that'll focus. It's not gonna focus in. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, let me tell you why I'm streaming. Uh, now, I tried to stream over on Twitter X, Twitter. The app formerly known as Twitter. Man, I, I just as I was getting back on board and I could kind of justify the whole premium, this and that. Yeah, I do pay for premium or formerly known as blue. Here, because I, li I like it because, well, not only, it, 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 there's a there's a there's there's definitely a difference. There's an algo push. There, and there's an algorithm push. Like I can, uh, I can, I can see when my stuff's not reaching, when I'm not paying for it. But I like the bookmarks. I like the editing feature, um, the undo feature. There's all, all sorts of little things that you get with premium, and I, I find it worth it. Plus, it's my second largest platform. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. What if you're just in a position to pay for that, or you just don't want to? You're just not on there. What if you're, what if you're like, what if you're like Alan, and you, Alan, I'm just gonna make an example of you here. It's, it's cool, okay? Don't worry. What if you're like Alan? Everybody be like Alan, okay? What if you're like Alan Mulder here? And you just want to hang out and watch the tech geeks and watch the wars and <laughs> and just watch them all go fighting and everything like that. What if you want to just do that, right? And you don't want to push stuff and that. You just want to you just want to you just want to scroll through and just have your fun, just like he is here on Twitter X, on X, the app formerly known as Twitter. If I do a live stream, if I do a live stream, you can't chat. And there's an op there's three options for chat. It's either no chat, verified, or premium, or subscriber. Now I don't have I'm not, I'm not at the level I already apply, I applied to do subscription a while ago and they they won't allow me yet. I think it's because I'm in Canada and it's only a US thing. Fine, whatever. But even as, as a public chat, you can't publicly chat. You cannot publicly chat. You can reply to the tweet, but you can't publicly chat. Think about Twitter spaces for a second. Everybody can go hang out in Twitter spaces. Everybody can. You can even play back the replay. You know, Viper, the man about tech, this guy right here. Woo! Oh my goodness. He does his coffee talk every Monday, every morning, Monday through Friday. What if that was all of a sudden, yeah. you couldn't do it. All you could do is listen. That'd get pretty annoying, right? So I hope that I'm going to put out a tweet later on, uh, an X, whatever. 
with the screenshots and just say, hey, man, Elon, I'm going to tag X. I'm going to tag the CEO and everything. You need to make this a public, like public people need to be able to chat. No one wants to go into a live stream without chatting. Those that go into a live stream, stream, stream and don't chat are purposely doing that because they don't want to chat. They're just watching. Just like right now, I know there's tech friends, tech peers of mine that are watching right now that don't want to be known. Oh, I watched Zach. I saw what he said. He said stuff about you. No, I didn't. Shut up. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. So there's, there's I apologize. We tried, we tried firing it up like what, two or three times over there. I'm not going to stream on X until they fix that, until they do the public thing. There's no, there's no point in me doing it. There's no point. Because if I can't interact and talk with you guys, forget about it. I mean, that defeats the whole purpose of a live stream, right? It's kind of like if you're a big YouTube creator, like a tech YouTube creator, and you went live to talk about the new Google phones, and then you play, played pre-recorded clips of you using the phones rather than, you know, picking up the phones and actually using the phones in front of people like I do. Be kind of silly to do that, wouldn't it? Justine, just saying. That was not a live stream. Um, it was more of a promotion for YouTube shopping. But hey, that's the way I see it. I'm not picking on her much. I'm just saying, don't call it a live stream. Don't, 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 don't call it a live stream. And using pre-recorded clips, I, I use some pre-recorded clips. But when you're demoing things on a live stream and you go to a pre-pre-recorded clip, what? Or what are you doing? Silliness. Silliness. Trying to, <laughs> trying to increment Zach later. Trenton with the trouble. Dude, Trent, you have my express permission. Trenton, you have my express permission to use any and all clips ever from my streams. Even the even the unlisted one from yesterday. Anyway, people. That's that's me. I'm going to get off my soapbox. We're going to dive into the live chat. We're going to see who's here. I'm going to put myself up in the corner here. Because it looks good. Look how good this stream looks now. Like, look, I mean, I'm I'm an ugly guy. I know, I know I'm not pretty, okay? But, like, I mean, this, I mean, this, look at this. Got the perfect bouquet, or as Brian would call it, uh, BMAC. Blurry background. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me fix this. Okay, yeah. Like, the focus and everything. I mean, check it out. Here's my, here's my Blistex. And then no Blistex. My Blistex. No Blistex. Now this is on the fast autofocus. It could be, it, it was it was a lot slower before, but I'm okay with this because I'm not holding stuff up. If I want to show you guys stuff close up, I'm going to this angle here. I'm going to this angle right here, right? And this is an iPhone. I know the irony, right? So anyway, let me put myself down in the corner here. Up in the corner. And uh, yeah, so the, the titanium pen is now my new pointing pen. It was this plastic thing. And if you know the story behind this one, then, you know, it's kind of sad that we're putting it away. But we're putting it away. Actually, we're going to put it over here so it's not distracting. Um, yeah. Hold on. Maybe I should charge my phone while we're at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pop this on here. And I want to... Oh, there's all sorts of notifications coming through. I don't want, I need to get back to this stuff. So you know what, we'll put it there for now. Just let her go, charge it later on, it's okay. All right, diving into the live chat. Oh yeah, so here's the Nomad 35 watt charger. This thing is dope. Like look how thin this is, look how thin this is. This is my CES set, check it out. This is what I'm taking to CES, if I go. There's my cable, this is a cable, USB-C to USB-C, it also comes in lightning, the link is down below. All right, got my pen, my 35 watt. And if this is not enough, they also make a 65 watt GAN charger. Guys, it's a GAN charger, which means it runs so much cooler and more efficient. Get yourself one of these. If you don't get it for yourself, buy it for your mom or dad. If they don't need it, then you can take it. In other words, buy it for yourself. Use my link, help a boy out. All right. <laughs> put this here. All right. Uh, yeah, right there. Some nice branding on this too. Like they put, it's very subtle. But it's on there. Let's see if we can get this to. She's not gonna focus. Okay, it's too small. Whatever. Let's dive into the live chat. Let's see who's here. Let's see who's here. What's going on, Bobby G? How you doing? Love the vibes, bro. Bobby. 
So do I, man. This is Creator Mix Music. Link is down below. You can use it for all your content, copyright free, uh, royalty free. I use it for all my content from the boys D and Nick Nimmin. I don't get paid to say that. Uh, the information, you know, they're right here as well. Check them out. Listen to their music on YouTube Music, Spotify, all that kind of stuff. Seriously. I like the Bay Blue. I just don't need another blue big phone. Wish the regular Pixel 8 was available in that color. I got a feeling, here's what I would like Google to do next year. Do, okay, th here, let's, okay, Google. This is, this is what Google needs to do next year, okay? They listened to me last year because last year I put out a tweet. Yes, at the time they were called tweets. I put out a tweet saying, matte finish, flat screen, and a couple other things. What did they do this year? Matte finish, flat screen. So listen, Google, do this again. Do this, do this, whatever colors you need to, because they're pretty, they're doing the colors pretty well. Do this, matte finish, flat screen, okay? Do this, Google, and then for the railings, for the side here, okay? Do this brushed thing. Do the brushed finish. You guys see the brush finish? You put this brush finish edging on this here, I don't know how else to put it. Sorry about the swears. But you do that. Damn, man. We're going to have a winner. Let me tell you. I mean, this is already a winner as it is. Right? So, uh, yeah. Do this. Do this. With this railing. And by the way, my wife is already bugging me about it. As you guys know, the Pixel 8 is actually smaller than last year's 7 and even smaller than the 6A. This, if you like a small phone... This thing is awesome. The only reason, the only the one of the main reasons I'm going with the Pro is I like I like actually having the bigger screen, but also the Pro controls. Other than that, the five days that I had this before I got the Pro, this was amazing. This right here, if you don't care about Pro controls, if you don't care about some of the, the, the Pro features that come with this right here, the 8 is your winner right here. You slap a skin on here, you slap a... You slap a later case, you know, here's the baby blue. Boom, baby, you're good to go. And if you want a thick case, you do your thick case thing. But I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Damn. I mean, geez. Oh, yeah. Come on, people. So yeah, Google, do this with this railing. Like, look at the railing, look at the railings. Look at the sides. This, it's beautiful. It's brushed. Look at that. Look at that SIM card slot. Yeah. Just begging to be touched. All right. Like, do that. Okay. Do that. <laughs> What's with this guy? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm really excited about the new Pixel phones. I'm not going to lie. I'm a Pixel fan. Okay. But I also use Galaxy. This camera right here is an iPhone. You guys know this. I don't tell you guys this over and over. Um... I'm just excited about the tech and I'm going to share that with people. And if it turns you off, then fine. I will try to be as unbiased as possible. But I mean, the truth is, you know, and I've called out stuff before and I will continue to call out stuff. Google didn't put DisplayPort out with these this year. Apparently, it's available in a software upgrade. It will happen apparently eventually. But it's not there from the jump. But I really wish it was. Because then I could essentially make one of these devices an extra camera, a third camera. That's a, I know it's a nerdy thing, right? It's a nerdy thing. So, uh, you know, there we have. All right, let's go back to the chat here. Let's see who's here. Again, thanks for spending your afternoon with me. It's currently 11, 12 a.m. here. That means it's about uh, 6, 12 p.m. over uh, UK, Ireland. That means it's 12 uh, p.m., 12, 10, 12, 12 p.m. Central, 1, 12 p.m. Eastern, 10, 12 a.m. Pacific. I just did all that in my head. All right, going through here. These the tech wars have been yeah. It's oh man the sub the subtweeting culture. Oh, I hate it. And you know what? I'm guilty of it too. I wish people would just start tagging each other because when they start tagging each other, that's when it gets really good. <laughs> I just sit back and I'm like, oh damn. Like I know we all do. We all sit back and like, oh damn. Like what's he gonna do? And we listen. We all do this. We all refresh each other's pages. Like what's he, what's he gonna say next? What, what did he like? What did he bookmark? <laughs> Keep in mind, people, your likes are public unless you hide those. Unless you hide those. 
Might as well not be uh, live if they don't want chat. Exactly, yeah, with the Twitter thing, man. Really annoying. Yes. I, I totally expect Trenton to pull something from one of my recent streams to do something. Because we've, we've had some good ones, man. We've had some really good ones. Trenton, here's, here's what you can do, Trent. If you can do this. Someone liked the tweet the other day. And I, I wish I had bookmarked it or whatever, made a note of it. But way back in the day, I was on a live stream with Viper. When it was back when we were still using Google Hangouts. This might have been 2018 or 2019. Not not StreamYard. And somebody called my phone like a telemarketer. And Viper's like, tell him you're on Viper Live. I'm like, you're on Viper Live. And the girl like freaked out and she hung up. It was so funny. It was like a it was like a 10 second clip. If you can find that man and retag me, oh my god, it's so funny. I don't I don't remember who tweeted it out originally. I think Viper did. We still have the same ats. If you can find that, if someone can find that and 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 tag me, if someone, anybody, find that, tag me, please. I need I need a copy of that. I need a copy of that. All right. Don't tell anyone. Hey Trent, join. Yeah, that should have been a premiere. Yeah. Yo yo, Bionic Scoop, how you doing, sir? Thanks for coming through. Uh, Assassin and AFK. What is the battery life like? Okay, what is the battery life like? Good question. What's the battery life been like? Uh, so for the Pixel 8 Pro, I'm getting all day plus some, unless I'm going really hard with video and social media all day. I'm getting all day plus some. And this is off the chart, off the chart, off the charger at seven-ish, 6.30, 7.30-ish. And then I'm hitting around 30% around six o'clock. And that extra, that last 30% will get me through the rest of the night until I hit the sack around midnight or 11 o'clock. Otherwise, during dinner, I just do a top up, if that makes sense, okay? I don't do actual battery, like I don't do actual measurements there. Uh, very similar with the eight. However, I'm probably closer to 20% around five or six o'clock, okay? So I hope that answers your question. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is they've been excellent. I'm getting all day. I've been very happy with it. There's so many options for the battery uh, to share the battery or sorry, to save the battery and things like that. So it's been they've been really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, I'm going to try to do this holding thing while I go through the rest of the live chat here. We'll just do it. We'll just do it like this. Can I hold these both? Hold on. Oh, clear that. Clear that. Okay. There we go. Yeah, don't worry, they're not touching each other. Okay, we'll just do this. Can you guys see that? I would do the other angle, but everything just looks so good now. Uh, let's go through here. Hey, man, I bought this for you so I could keep it for me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I want a silver pixel with a matte finish. Dude, the porcelain, that's probably as close as you're going to get right now. But the porcelain does look nice. I I have to admit, when I started seeing them in real life, like the black and the porcelain, I was like, hmm. But I mean, how many blue phones in your life are you going to own? This is only my second blue phone. This is only my second blue phone. So um, I had to. I had to, man. I really like it. I really like it. Hi, shout out from the Philippines. Okay, fine. Have your shout out. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, Philippines. Glad you're here. Um, 1813 here now. Yeah, so you guys are, it's, yeah, so it's 613. There you go, 617 now. I was wondering if the ability to use your pixels as a webcam will be coming as a quarterly drop. Uh, I hope it's sooner. Okay, so here's the thing. Apparently, they're testing something called, um, so right now, the reason why DisplayPort is not available on Pixel devices is Google wants you to use, like, Chromecast. They want you to Chromecast things, okay? But then you look at other manufacturers like, like uh, Sony, Samsung, Huawei, Oppo, whatever. Everybody has that unlocked. You literally just get one of these adapters right here. Plug in your HDMI, plug in your power. You can also go USB-C. USB-C into the device and away you go, right? Um, Pixels are the only ones that have that blocked. Now you can use uh, different hot software, this and that, and, and get around it, but it's it, apparently the quality is not there. I've never tried it myself. But there are people that are on the current beta right now and it's available, like it's working. So if you're on the beta right now, the latest beta that Google's doing for Pixels, it's working. So and that seems to suggest like the, the thing that they're working on, which is the, Google's apparently working on something like their version of Dex, 
where you plug in your Pixel device to your computer, your, your TV, and you get everything, right? So that'll be cool. Um, I don't know what they're calling it. There's been some names floating around there. So the fact that it's available now, like before it was always, it was always a hardware lock. Now it's just a software lock that heavily suggests to me that it's coming soon. I don't know if it's going to be a future drop. Who knows it'll be in the new year. It may not even be with this generation, but it's being tested. It's been proven to work on the betas. So if you go on the beta, it'll work. I'm not a beta guy. I will, I, I don't put my devices on beta because all my personal stuff is here. Some of my personal stuff is here, but I spent the, the weekend setting this baby up. And all my software is on there or all my, you know, all my stuff is on there now. So. It's weird because this is actually straight, but it looks like it's off to you guys. So I have to do this. I know it's, the OCD is going to, it's going to drive some people nuts. Is that straight? There's your later case. Here's a Pixel 7 Pro. Let's see if we can, there we go. Got the fam on deck. Almost, right? There's a hero shot right there. That looks good, right? Got my old androids on deck here. I got a whole bunch of these. Grogu back here. Love this keyboard. All right, continuing through the live chat. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate it. Um, I am new to content creation and this was my first Google Pixel 2 Unbox review. I'm blown away, I love it. In my opinion, it's way better than my S23 Ultra for sure. Okay, so here's the thing. Here, let me ask you this, Bobby. Um, so Samsung sent me the Galaxy S23 back in, was it April? And I really liked it. I had a lot of fun with it. I, I quickly remembered how much I loved having a stylus. Oh my God, because the last the last Samsung I had with a stylus was with the, was the Galaxy was the Gal was the Note which one was it? Note 10 Plus. That was the last one I had that I personally owned with a stylus. That Note was such a workhorse. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, and then I switched to Pixel. <laughs> I switched my devices all the time. But I I I mean my first Pixel was like um, Nexus 4 technically. But I've had all the Pixels, except for the Pixel 5a. I never had the 5 or the 5a, okay? So, the one thing that stood out to me right away when I started using the Galaxy S23 was how much brighter and more premium that the screen felt. And that's a huge factor because that's how you interact with the device, right? With these new Pixels, this thing competes hard with it. I would really need the Galaxy S23 in my hands again to say if this was better or not. But just off of what I remember, um, the Pixel A Pro is coming, is, you know, it's coming for him. It's coming for the neck, let me tell you. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. But yeah, I would love to hear more from you, Bobby, there. Right, Bobby, if you're on Twitter, X, whatever, tag me in. Make sure we're following each other. I would love to hear more of your thoughts and everything. But thank you for that. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, t tag me on Twitter X or whatever and so I can check out your content. Maybe I already do watch your content. Maybe you're under a different name. I'm not, I'm not quite sure here. Uh, Trent says, tagging each other gets worse. People try to cancel you. I know from personal. Yeah, dude. But, like, subtweeting is just so... It's so... It's so childish. There are some people out there that... And we know who you're talking about. I hate it. I don't think it'll ever stop. I don't think it'll ever stop. It just, it seems like it's human nature, especially when people are behind keyboards and, oh, Jimmy Fire, now my son's been sick, da, 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 okay. Yeah, I hope your son gets better, man. Nose has been hurting. Man, I had the worst pain in my hip this morning. I felt like an old person, like a really old person. I couldn't walk, it was crazy. Did coffee talk this morning turn into the Jason intervention? I don't know, dude, it was, I love Jason. I do. I wish that we were still doing shows together. I wish we were still doing the podcast together. I miss, I miss talking with Jason. I miss hanging out. I miss geeking out. Um, I've apologized for being a dick to him. I've, I've said it publicly. I said it to him privately. Um, he's moved on. He's doing good things. He's doing good things. I know that Jason's talked about stuff in the past and everything. And 
I've we've talked about this privately the same things that he talked about today and I just think Jason I think Jason does really really good tech content he's always done really good content like can you trust series are amazing they are really amazing series the can you trust like John Rettinger the techno buffalo led directly to me having a closer personal relationship with John Rettinger like you guys you guys don't understand like I text with John probably every couple of weeks like all the time He's given some terrific advice and everything. And that interview with the follow up with him and those guys together, just I think it was just before the sale of Techno Buffalo was amazing. It's still available on VOD. But anyway, I only caught some of it, but yeah, Jason seems to sometimes go through these things and and I think just like any other creator, again, I'm not picking on him, but um you know, I hope he gets it figured out. I, he just he needs, he needs to find the balance. He knows he does. But I think Jason makes a terrific content. I have nothing to pick on with his content at all. It's terrific content. Jason's always had amazing content i looked up to him as a fan before and then during our time together and still now i just wish that we could you know do a stream here or there or something like that together again just just like old times i think it would feel really good we used to have some ridiculously good times we really did and i miss them so my co-worker walked by and heard don't worry they're not touching each other and stared at me what 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 did I say? Here's a here's another look at pixels. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, let's go through here. Hey, Zach. Uh, Justin says the Twitter stream thing is ass hat with only blue tick. User. Okay, so I don't know if if it actually worked for blue tick premium users because nobody chatted. I couldn't see it. I can't see a chat. There's like on the back end in the in the studio for Twitter X. There's no chat. Like I can't see anything. It's either it's either no chat. Twitter X or subscribers or not Twitter X a premium whatever verified or, or or subscribers I can't even see it so if I wanted to monitor the chat I have to do it through the phone I have to do it through the phone so but I already said this earlier like I'm not going to stream on Twitter X unless it's available for public all right people want to be able to chat but want to be able to chime in and things like that right that's what a live stream is about okay so um I'm going to put out a tweet later on. I'm going to put out a post later on. Please, everybody, pay attention to this. I'm going to put this out like after the stream, showing the screenshots of what people saw, how they couldn't tweet, and how I only had those three options. I'm going to tag Elon Musk. I'm going to, I'm going to tag the CEO, Linda. I'm going to tag at X. I'm going to tag everything that I need to, the people that we need the attention for this. I need you guys to like, and retweet that, repost it, so that we can do streaming. Because I would love to stream on X. It's my second largest platform. I think I think it'd be way more engaging than than some of the stuff that we have here. For the most part, most of you that are here are also there, but you know, it'd be kind of cool to see a stream over there, right? So, I'll I'll tag that. I'll put that up later before we end the stream, or just after the stream, and you guys can you know help me get the get, get the word out. Uh, Michael, the video out stuff should be able to come to Pixel Fold and Pixel 7 series there even though yeah you know it's it's all software thing it's not it's not a hardware it used to be a hardware thing but it's, it's supposed to it's it looks like it's a software lock based on what I've read yeah American Diesel Zach my Pixel 8 Pro is working great I'm happy with it the only point I need to make is that the Google, uh, Google has to do something about changing the eSIM from the old cell to the new uh, seamlessly interesting so so I'm in Canada, a, eh? um, and we have, we still have the SIM card, right? I think all pixels come with that, but I did have the option when I was setting this up to enter it as a, as an eSIM, and I didn't. Here's why. I've seen the problems you guys have all had with eSIM, <laughs> and I didn't want to have the same problem with mine. I didn't want to have the same problem with mine potentially. So, um, I haven't tried it yet. As far as I know, I should be able to just pop that open, take out my SIM, type in the SIM card number, and done. And I might actually do that because this is my permanent device. Um, but I also like be able to, I'd like the flexibility to be able to pop out, pop into another one. So, why Pixel hasn't switched to eSIM yet, I don't know. Like, permanently. I, I think it's just a flexibility thing, so that way they don't have to make different types of units for different countries, right? For example, um, I think the iPhones that are sold in Canada, um, sorry, the iPhones that are sold in the United States don't have SIM card. We're up here in Canada, they do. I think, at least that's how it was last year. 
So, yeah, the eSIM trend, like, honestly, the eSIM thing should be as simple as going online with your carrier and just typing it in and log in properly, verify, da da da, switch, right? It, you shouldn't have to call in, everything like that. You should be able to just do it through an app. Like, I do everything with my carrier through an app. I haven't talked to somebody at my carrier for about three or four years. I've talked to my, my, my dealer, like my carrier dealer, my, not like my dealer, but like my carrier dealer for like deals and everything like that. But he doesn't do the same thing. He just gives me the hardware, right? Gets me the deal. So it, it should be that simple for customers. It really should be as simple as popping on in and out card. So that's something American Diesel, I would say bring that to the attention of your carrier, complain, and then they'll put the pressure on the manufacturers, right? That's That's really how it should go. Jason C, how you doing? Glad you're here. Thanks for coming through. Bobby G, no, uh, absolutely, bro. We'll tag you, and my YouTube and Twitter are the same, by the way. I'll tag Yeah, please do. Bobby, I'd be really interested to see your stuff, man. Thanks for coming through, man. Appreciate it. For me, the Pixel 8 beats the S23 in feel and hand. Love the screen as well. The rounded edges, uh, the user interface, the incredible smooth. So much good stuff. Yeah, dude, like like one UI if you remember you guys remember touch Wiz? remember how crappy touch Wiz was we had to suffer through touch Wiz to get one UI to get where we are they're doing such great things with touch with or with touch Wiz, with one UI one UI is awesome like after after pure Google after pure you know pure pixel one UI would be my pick it really would be it really would be um yeah I, I and, it, and it was a comfortable phone. I think it was about the same width as this guy right here. I find these both comfortable. But yeah, the, the S23 Ultra is a comfortable, comfortable phone. Listen, listen, listen. If, if someone came to me today and said, hey, Zach, S23 Ultra, Google Pixel 8 Pro, I would say flip a coin and you will be happy with either or. Guarantee. Guarantee like, seriously. The, the tech nerd stuff that we all do, guys, not everybody cares about that stuff, right? But seriously, for pretty much everybody else out there, you could flip a coin and be happy, right? You would be, you would be extremely happy with either one. Uh, what happened with you two, Zach? And then, and then what? What was okay? So with me and Jason, um, I was a, I was a, I was a dick to him on Twitter, Twitter X. I kind of, I was trying to like call him out, and we, him and I had an agreement that, you know, if we had issues or whatever, if we saw something to um uh, to like come to each other privately and i didn't i was i was an ass i know i was i apologize i've pub apologized publicly and i've done it many times and i don't blame him for not talking to me and yeah i just wish that to, i wish that uh, we could get together and do things again but yeah it's it's my bad it was my fault i take ownership of it and i ruined a great friendship not only just like online with this stuff but also outside of this because we used to text and talk to each other all the time i'm sorry i really am so uh jason's video about returning the pixel 8 pro before review was great he does things most would not think about or at least in a different manner so i have to go watch the video because this is what jason was talking about today in the twitter spaces i need to go watch that i haven't i have like i have the notification i just haven't watched it yet so I kind of knew what he was talking about this morning. Uh, Mason, how are you doing? Yeah, buddy. Uh, Mason, I, I'm going to be popping by this evening. Uh, you said karaoke goes from like 7 to 11. So I'll try to pop by sometime in the evening. And, you know, maybe we'll have a couple of wobbly pops and uh, go from there. I'm not a big, I'm not a big, you know, anymore. I don't, you know. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just have some late night eats. I'm assuming the food is good there. So you let me know. Uh, da, 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 da. You did an eSIM transfer? Is that so? You went from like a card into an eSIM? Canada iPhone is better than US iPhone. <laughs> and no duty booty. Yeah. Alan Mobley, you definitely need to set the record straight on the best take feature. The big YouTubers are definitely giving misinformation about. It. Okay. I hate when this kind of stuff happens. I showed you guys in real time using best take and using the editor. And you know what? We're going to do it again right now. And I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to have to finally cut that up into something for, for one of my channels or something. How do I want to show this to you guys? Let me think here. 
Um, I mean, I have the family photo thing I did basically last a couple weeks ago. Um, I guess, I mean, photos are photos, right? Uh, the thing people need to understand when it comes to best take and stuff like that is that you are using photos and things like that from the same session. Okay. The same, like you took, you took three or four photos at the same time, right? It's not taking photos or pictures of people from like a week ago. Right. So, um, tell you what, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Okay. So let me just, uh, make sure we got enough room here. I'm going to move some things around and we'll do it on the eight pro. Actually, no, let's, let's do it on the, let's do it on the eight. Let's do it on the eight. Okay. Everybody's doing eight pro stuff. Let's do it on the eight here. Okay. So let me, let me find some photos here and we'll do this here. I'm going to go right into my album here. Uh, make sure I don't show you guys that picture. Uh, let me just put myself up in the corner here. How's the music coming through everybody? I did turn it up a little bit. It should be good. It should be good. Okay. Um, let me find where I took a bunch of photos. Here's here's the problem though. My 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 kids and my wife know how to take photos, so they we hardly ever have to take mo multiple photos. We n literally take the first one. We're good to go. <laughs> so uh, let me see if I can find it here. October 9th. No, that's not gonna work. Where is it? Ah, uh -huh, here we go. Here we go. Nope, not that one. Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so check it out. So, bunch of photos, my wife and kids. Okay. And you can see in some of these, they're looking away and stuff like that. So I'll bring one picture up where one of them's looking away and even the eyes. And you guys will see how quickly this works. Uh, let's take a look here. There's one where I tell my daughter to look away and she's just like, yeah, this is a good one here. This is actually a really good one. Check this out, okay. Um, this mouse out of the way. This is a really good one, okay, so my daughter's just like, what? My, my wife blinked, and my son looked away. Okay? This is a really good one. You can use the best take. So, very simple, people. Okay. Uh, hopefully, you guys aren't getting the reflection there too much. Hit edit. Okay, it brings up the menu. Now, the magic editor's down here in the corner. But we're going to go over... And sometimes best take shows up here, but it didn't. So, we'll go over to tools. You guys can see that tools best take okay now it analyzes from the same session okay we're analyzing and then you go through each person's photo so starting with my son on the left okay you guys can see how he looks right now like he's uh actually you know what my son on the left he looks fine Okay, actually, you know what? It already fixed them. It actually fixed them already. So let me go back. It actually fixed them already. It didn't, but I can go through and I can pick. Let's go back. So we're gonna discard. Okay, see how they're all, see how my daughter's looking away, my wife's blinking, my son's looking to the right. I'm gonna go edit. So best take actually already picks for you. But you can make your own choices as well. So best take. Now watch. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. Fix it already. Now my wife is still kind of looking up. So let's fix her. So I'll tap my wife's face. And then I get to pick from these photos. So I'm going to pick the third one. I'm going to pick the third one. Watch her face when I pick it. Watch her face. Now she's looking straight at us. See that? Boom. Okay, we hit done. Then, of course, you can add filter, whatever you want to adjust. You can do cropping, whatever. So uh, let's, do, let's do a crop. And we'll go square. 
And maybe we'll bring that in a little bit. Right there. We'll go to tools again. Uh, let's see if we can find a nice filter. Something that looks nice. That's a little drowned it out. That one's a, I like the blush one. And we'll say save copy. Boom. So we went from this to this in what? A minute? Two minutes? Where's the problem? Don't tell me it doesn't work. And don't believe people that say don't, it doesn't work. Okay? It's going to get better and better. If it's not working, it's an operator problem. You are the problem. Other tech tubers. The big one. Whatever. Listen, man. People want the clicks and everything. I get it, okay? But there's other ways to go about it, okay? There. I just proved you wrong. I'm going to make that into a clip or something. Get it out there, okay? So there you go. No issues there. No issues there. You guys saw it done in real time. We did the magic editor thing in real time, right? We've done this stuff. I've shown you guys this stuff. It freaking works. If it's not working for you, it's because you're not doing it right. One of the biggest things I see with people talking about magic editor, for example, with the AI generation stuff, is the photo has to be uploaded to Google Photos. So if you're out and about and you're taking photos and you want to do magic editor on the spot, unless you push it to your cloud, to the Google Photos cloud to upload, update it, it's not going to work because it has to be in Google Photos Cloud. It has to be backed up. It has to be backed up. Most people have it set up so that they don't. Their Google Photos doesn't update. It doesn't. Excuse me. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't back up until you're on Wi-Fi. Okay. And if it, your phone is crashing, and everything update everything. Power cycle. Try again. You wouldn't believe how many issues with your phone, with electronics in general, that can be fixed just from doing a power cycle. Okay? So just do a power cycle, people. Okay? Going through here. Yeah, it's going so slow. Trent, you and I, we think alike so much. It's amazing. I know, right? Oh, man. I'm going to, I need to, uh, I'm going to star this. There we go. Now it's in my star there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, definitely need to set the record straight. Yeah, so like Alan, like I said, and this goes back to the bigger conversation I talk about every year with every phone release. Don't just watch the big creators of the big publications. Go watch the small guys like myself and everybody else. Go to the freaking store where everything's on display and play with it yourself. No one's going to mind with you play with it in the store. That's why it's there. Seriously, if you have any doubts, go to the store and play with it. There's demo models. Do it. Do it. Do it. And that's nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot to admit you're wrong. Dude, I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm almost 44. I ain't got time for BS, and I'll call myself on BS. I can be stubborn as heck. Um, but I don't blame Jason one bit for not wanting to to reconcile whatnot. I don't. I just wish we. I, I just wish we would. It would be kind of cool, right? So, um, yeah, that's just where it is, and I just you just have to live with the consequences. But yeah, it was me. I was the problem. Yeah. Uh, don't drink it all. Get the dill pickle pizza. It's oh dill pickle pizza. Dill pickle pizza. Ooh. My budget's tight right now, but yeah, I think I think I could make that work. I think I could make that work. I'm not going to go into a bar and not eat or drink something. <laughs> it would be just kind of weird, right? Uh, Bobby says, now it's an eSIM from S23 Ultra to Pixel 8 Pro eSIM. Real smooth setup. Other, sorry, others had issues, though. Do you mind if I ask what carrier you're with? I'm with one of the big three here in Canada. Some people don't want to say what carrier they're with. Just because of the whole porting thing. Uh, sorry, you missed on the stream. I hope you are 1980. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, but uh, Trent, yeah. But it's so slow. I can't wait 2.5 seconds. Exactly. People that say that. Oh, I want you to think about this, please. Think about the things, the editing that you can do 
aren't smartphones nowadays. Think about the things that you can do. We are so spoiled. You're doing things in your smartphone that they couldn't even do when they were making Star Wars in 1977. Sorry, 1975. It came out in 77. The first Star Wars. I want I want you to think about that. Like and, and what was involved back then. We're doing things in these devices that they couldn't even do back when the Phantom Menace came out. I'm doing Star Wars references because, you know. Here, let me let me remove this. And someone can screenshot this for me. Okay, I love my Star Wars, okay? So we're doing things on here that you you couldn't even do five years ago. Little you could, three years ago. The AI thing, you couldn't even do that a year ago. And you're complaining about taking three to four seconds? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. I know your time is is valuable, but come on, man. Talk about like little thing to complain about. That's so petty. I'm okay with people being petty about things. But that's just stupid. <laughs> Like, what? Here's your sign. If you know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm talking about right now, here's your sign. Put it in the chat if you know who I'm talking about when I do that. Here's your sign. Oh, I had to wait three seconds for that to render. Here's your sign. People get pissed at me when I tell them a power cycle, anything. Dude, power. Okay, here's the thing. I have the Google Nest. I have the Google Nest Wi-Fi. I think it's the second generation. It's not the newer generation one that's available now. I have to do a, not a factory reset, but I have to do like a Wi-Fi cycle every, I would say about every week. I do it every Saturday morning. Because if I don't, our Wi-Fi gets weird and I can't figure out what it is. There might be too many things. It's it's good that we have fiber now. We have 940 down. Oh, sorry, we have 1.5 gigabyte down, 940 up. But actually, when I do the speed tests, they usually both work out to like 1.2, both of them. Ever since we went that fast, no issues. But I have to still power cycle or turn off the Wi-Fi, turn it back on, right? It's not always flawless. But yeah, it fixes the issues, dude. I start, I restart my Mac on a weekly basis. I know some people like with their PC, don't ever turn off your computer. Don't turn off your computer, man. How much RAM does that thing have? What's the right speed? Um, yeah, dude. Turn it off, turn it back on. Seriously, it, it's it's like my wife. Just turn it off, turn it back on. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I'm not sorry. Okay, moving on. Uh, da, 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 da. Hello, Jimmy. Uh, the mag um, magenta carrier. <laughs> oh, the ma okay, yeah. I would give your carrier a call and just see what's up, man. Uh, oh, no, so you said you had no issues. No issues. Shark fin Tech's in the house. How you doing? Glad you're here, buddy. Thanks for coming through. Uh, I made a post about how spoiled we are, have become with tech, and that we can't wait a few seconds for processing to take place. Imagine. Hashtag. Dude, total first problem, right? Sometimes I complain about stuff, and I look at the post, and I go, hmm. I got food in the fridge, roof over my head. I got a car that works relatively well. <laughs> Like come on man. Yeah, Bill Ungelf, you know the you know who it, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Tech free needs. Thanks for coming through. Mason Knight, by the way, this guy right here. Um all right, give him all one right, of those. He's one right. of our channel members. He actually lives uh he lives here in Calgary. I'm gonna go hang out with him tonight with karaoke. I think he's hosting karaoke. Should be a good time. Have some dill pickle pizza. I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm looking forward to that. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go through here. Hey, uh, you should have said that about your uh, wife. You'll be sleeping on the couch tonight. Dude, I always sleep on the couch. Not by choice. I just fall asleep. <laughs> I'm with the purple carrier. Purple. Which one's purple? You're not with Chatter, are you? Are you with Chatter? No. Are you with... Are they... Wait. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I want to move to Canada. I just don't know where... Um, not Toronto, not Montreal, not Vancouver. I, I'm telling you right now, there are cities. There we have more than three cities here. Okay, because <laughs> whenever an international people think of Canada, they're like Vancouver, Toronto, 
Montreal. We have more cities than that, I promise you. We're a big ass country. We don't have a lot of people here. The the state of California has more people than we have in Canada. 80% of our population in Canada lives within a two hour drive of the border. So, uh, dude, I can feel it too. Hey, Trent, <laughs> I, I, it's intriguing. I'm not sure if I want to go that way. Okay. You're with the, yeah, you're with those guys. I mean, they're the ones that do my fiber. Okay. Well, it's right. There is purple in their, in their logo. It's purple and the green, right? They got the animals and everything. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, these colds tend to last together. Yeah, man. I had a wicked cold a couple weeks ago. I guess the I guess the vid thing is still kind of going around for some people. Ooh. Hope people stay safe this year. Hope nothing major happens again. But anyway, people, uh, the best smartphones. The best smartphones. The best value in a smartphone this year. 110%. For an Android. Let's be really clear about that for an Android. People always ask me, Zach, should I get an iPhone or should I get a Pixel or should I get a Samsung? My first question to you is this. Which operating system are you most comfortable with? Don't tell me, well, I like both. I would dabble in both. Okay, then you know what? Flip a coin. Conversation's over. But if you tell me, oh, I like iMessage and my parents have an iPhone and my boyfriend has an iPhone and my cat has an iPhone and my hamster has a microphone. Microphone? iPhone? My, you know, my kangaroo has an iPhone. Now I'm going to tell you to get an iPhone. Okay? But if you tell me, oh, I have a Samsung. I've had an LG before. I've had a Huawei before. I've had an Oppo before. I've had a Samsung before. I've had an LG before. I've had a Pixel before. I'm going to tell you to get a Pixel. Something just made a noise. Um, yeah. These things are stellar. I'm going to say for 90% of people, the Pixel 8 is going to, is going to do well for you. Unless you really want those pro controls, unless you really want those pro controls on the on the eight, okay? And let's say you want a bigger screen. You know, go for the pro. The screen on both these is beautiful. Just freaking beautiful. Phone of the year, these two babies right here. Seven, seven pro is still a good buy. And again, if you look on paper between these two, between the seven pro and the eight pro, and for example, for the seven and then go into the eight, there's not a lot of differences. So if you want to save some bucks and still have an awesome experience, I'm going to tell you, you could still look at the 7, 7 Pro, 7A. A, the 7A is a beast. It's a good phone. It's a good phone. Pineapple belong in pizza. No, it doesn't. Get out of here. Someone ban this fool. I'm just kidding. Dude, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Don't put don't put fruit on your pizza. The only fruit that belongs on your pizza is tomato sauce. And yes, tomato is a fruit. Look it up. It's science. In fact, that's the only fruit that should be on your pizza. Don't put pineapple on your pizza, you freaking psychos. What's wrong with you? I don't care if it tastes good. I know it tastes good. I love pineapple, but don't put it on your pizza. What's wrong with you? Don't do that. Don't do that. I can't believe you put that in my chat. I can't believe you put that in my chat. <laughs> I hope you know I'm kidding around, man. But seriously, don't do that. Um, yeah, it's like Northern Ireland, Zach is... Sorry. Northern Ireland, Zach, is not in Ireland. Okay. Dude, I, I'm so sorry. I always mess it, you know, because I just say Ireland, okay? I, I, and I mean both. I know it's a point of contention. I'm sorry. It's not, I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You guys know that. Trenton, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> this man, let me tell you. Um, love pickles, but I can't do pickle-flavored things. I just think they can't be balanced in the flavor. Pickled beer, pickled pickled beer. That's weird. I don't know, man. I uh, just can't get over how nice the back finishes on the blue. I know they they, they don't even, they don't even call it bay. They just call it they just they don't even call it um, blue bay. They just call it bay blue. They just call it bay bay because they know people are gonna call it bay blue or blue bay. 
But yeah, this matte finish is so gorgeous because like there's no reflection, right? And then there's the hazel, right? And there's reflection. Um, it was kind of funny when I was showing um, Don Coven. We went out for dinner last night. He's here. He was here in town. I, I think it was Don that said to me last evening. He's like, I don't understand why manufacturers keep on doing glossy finishes. It just doesn't look good anymore. Like this right here, I've been using completely without a case for the longest time. I recently started using the the later case. This is the Willy Blue. And if you're looking at this and going, oh, that looks like it's black. Let me show you the let me show you the blue. Or let, let me show you the black here. Hold on. Let me grab it. This right here is black. Okay. So, Willy Blue. This is their Midnight. This is not the regular, like, gray black. Let me grab that. Here's the Crimson. I think technically T put up a picture of this. The Crimson is really nice, too. And yeah, it does pick up the oils, and I am dirty. I had some greasy hands, but it does wipe off. It does clean up. Okay, so there's a crimson. And let me find the gray. Let me find the gray black. Hold on. And then there's like a coffee color as well. So here's your classic aramid fiber pattern. Like everybody's used to seeing this. All right, there's your classic. So there's there's your contrast between the black and the classic. So this is a gray black. And then this is this is the midnight. So you see that? Here, I'll hold it up on the regular camera here for you guys. Okay, let me just uh, clear this out here. So there you go. Oop. Uh, black, black, midnight. It's called midnight. Later case. Gray, black. Okay. And then... And you know what I'll do is maybe I'll just turn the lights on here a little bit. There we go. Willy blue, crimson, crimson and Willy will blue. Okay. So I hope that gives you guys a better idea of the colors. I'll put it back over here as well. Okay. So yeah, the Willy blue is quite dark. It's more. It's a, it's a navy. It's definitely like a navy, but it looks good in the light and everything, right? So I I've been using this. I only have the crimson for the regular eight, um, but I did ask them to send me the the, the midnight. I really like this. I really like. I'm gonna put it on the phone here right now for you guys. Let's put these away. By the way, the packaging still is really awesome. You know, you got this whole pullout thing here, right? Magnetic. Okay. Tell later case I sent you. I don't make a commission or anything. I just think they're cool cases. I love the way the direction, the direction, the evolution of these. Lou took my advice way back when, when I said, dude, if someone's buying something from Unbox Therapy, you need to put a logo or something either on the inside or outside. I feel as though this logo could be okay on the outside, if not like a light, like a, just like, like an outline, not necessarily white. I would still rock this with this little bit of logo like this on the back here. Like even in the corner, if they put it like in a corner, I would still do that. Right? It doesn't have to be on the inside. All right, let's put these away. Actually, give me a second. I'm going to grab the coffee color here, show you guys. This is the coffee color. And this is for the 7A actually, but this is the coffee. It's the same color for the other one. This is the coffee. Okay. So you have an idea. Coffee. All right, let's just turn these lights back on. There we go. Thanks for spending your afternoon with me, everybody. Once again, if you want to support the channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, all that kind of stuff. And if you feel like being extra generous, buy me a coffee, super chat, super thanks, whatever you need to do. But just being here and hanging out, that does help. All right, so this is the midnight. 
for the Pixel 8 Pro Midnight. This is your jet black. Okay, so keep in mind, it's going to cover everything. You're still going to see the rails and everything. And I know this isn't drop protection, quote unquote drop protection. Let me tell you about drop protection. Let me, okay, someone remind me. I'll talk about this in a second about drop protection, okay? Because I got a bone to pick with that kind of stuff. Let me, so right there. And it doesn't matter really how you put it in because the buttons are open. And there she is. That looks so nice. Got some extra grip on there. You still have access to your buttons. Right? Show you guys up here. Is it not gonna focus? It's not gonna focus. Right there. Look at that. Right. Looks good, right? Boom. Right there. And actually, we'll put the red one on the eight. We'll put the crimson. Hey, let me clean this up. Talks amongst yourselves. So if you want to clean up your, your later case, just get yourself a soft cloth. Give it a little, you know, one of those kind of things. If, if you wear glasses, you know what I'm talking about. And just a little, no, don't use straight up water or anything like that. Just use a soft cloth and give her a quick wipe. And... That's as good as she's going to get right now. Okay. Crimson. There we go. Put that right there. Okay. Looks good, man. Looks good. All right. Live chat. By the way, if you guys weren't here yet, let me show you guys this really quick because it, it's sitting right here. If you weren't here yet uh, during the live stream the other night, um, Nomad sent me out their new... They sent me both of these. They have both a 35 watt and a 65 watt GAN Slim Chargers. Look how small this is. You guys know how big the Pixel is. Here's the Pixel 8. Look how small that is. This is a 35 watt charger. This is a 35 watt charger. Okay, look, plug in, flip down. Okay, 35 watt, cool branding, nice brush finish. This is beautiful. If you want to pick one up for yourself, USB-C. Okay, this will work for both iPhone and Android. Use my link. It's an affiliate link. And then this is their key. So this right here. Check this out. Let me just clear out some notifications on here. Okay. So. Right. Plugged in. And then. Plugged in, okay. And then, charging rapidly. How cool is that? Now, if you need longer, of course you can buy longer, right? Um, but for myself personally, uh, I've never need longer than this. This is awesome. This is my this is my kit, man. Let me tell you. Uh, this is my travel kit. Like, this is what I'll carry in my pocket. Like, this is all that's going to be in my pocket. So if I'm out and about and I need to plug in. Like, it's ridiculous, guys. Look at this. You can't beat that. It's nice and lightweight, too. Like, this is not heavy at all. This is not heavy at all. Right? There is also a 65-watt version of this. Let me find it. Let me find the 65 watt. It's a little bit bigger. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. I didn't think we were going to do this, but we're going to do this right now. So there's a 60 there's a 65 watt version. And we'll pop her open. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, so here's your 65, here's your 35. Not much bigger, put them on top. This one has a little more weight, but it's also a dual. 
So if you plug in on just the blue or just the black side, so left or right, if you plug in on your own, just one, just one plug in, you're going to get a full 65 watt pull push. If you plug in, if you plug in two, you'll get 40 and 25, 40 and 25. In fact, they actually detail that on the back here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. 45 and 20 if you do two. Okay. But if you plug in the blue one, 65. And then if you do two, it'll be 45 and 20. Okay. And as it says there, right? 45 watt power M1 MacBook at full speed. So if you're doing a MacBook or something, oh baby, let me tell you. Woo. Of course, you guys know about their regular 20 watt. This is their 30 watt with the translucent. Okay. I'm gonna pop this open somehow. Oh. Okay, so they have this in 20 watt and 30 and 30 watt. Just to get yourself the 30 watt, get yourself covered. It's got this translucent fix uh, look to it. USB type C. Okay. The prongs do not go down on this. So this is something you probably want to plug in use around the house. I mean, you can still travel with this if you want, but for myself personally, I like to have something with the prongs that go down. Okay, so. And then the last thing, I'm not gonna take them out of the box, but of course, they're Kevlar cables. They come in all sorts of different lengths, USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to USB-A, five-year warranty. You can tow a car with one of these, okay? They're awesome. So if you don't want this little, if you don't want this, you can get yourself a regular cable. This is this is one foot. There's a five foot. There's a ten foot one. There's a three in one that has micro USB. Who uses micro USB? I don't know, but Nomad found a demand for it. Hey, let's give everybody. All right. Cool, cool, cool. This guy is always selling stuff. He's always trying to make us use his affiliate links and stuff. Um, okay, man. <laughs> oh. Stay hydrated, people. If you want any of that stuff, the links are down in the description, okay? And it's an affiliate link. You'll get it directly from Nomad. It doesn't cost you any different. And I make a little bit of, I make a little bit of money. I might be able to go buy a burger later. That's about it, right? Not a big deal. Going through here. Uh, live chat, the live chat. What do you guys, nobody's really said anything, but you guys are enjoying the new look, the new bouquet. Trenton and the team helped me do this. I think it looks good. I was so prepared to buy a different camera and, and like change things up. And now that it looks like this, let me tell you, baby, it looks good now. Um, how dare you disagree with me on the internet? <laughs> Listen, man, I just don't like, pear I don't like pineapple. I like pineapple. I like pizza. I don't like them together. They got to stay separate. I'm just saying, uh, tomato is a fruit. However, I don't mind pineapple on my pizza. It's very rare though. My son I I actually hates it. Okay. So your son's a good person. There you go. <laughs> your son's a good person. I just want to meet a person who has a kangaroo with an iPhone. Who has a kangaroo with an iPhone? Dude, just go to Australia. I'm sure they got iPhones all over that place and they're bouncing around everywhere. I'm really behind the chat here, guys. I'm not normally this hard, far behind, but thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you guys. Uh, hey, late to the stream. Ross, yeah, you, yeah. next time I'm going to need a note. Next time you're going to need to provide a note and reason. I don't care, man. It's all good. It's okay. It's okay. You can watch the replay. It's all good. But I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, Bay is Bay. Actually, I don't know. See, like Mason, I, are we hip enough? to use bay by the way if you're a channel member jimmy i see you doing it use the use the emojis man you have all these custom emojis that i put in use them show the people the emojis here let me show you guys some emojis here i can click them here I'll go to reaction you can do this on mobile or desktop here they are i paid for some of these to get them made some of them are my face some of them are screenshots there we go. 
Oh, I think the I think the stream just froze up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did we freeze up? Did we freeze up? Oh <gasps> no! Did the stream freeze up? Uh oh. Shoot. Shoot. Do we freeze up? There we go. Did I freeze up? That was weird. That was really weird. I went and clicked on the studio. Um, still here? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man. Use the emojis. You know what's funny is when I get to the emojis here, they don't translate properly on, in StreamYard, unfortunately. I know they're still working on them. Blue is my favorite color, so it was a no-brainer choice for me. But that porcelain had me. Yeah, dude. When I saw the black in person, I was like, oh, the black looks super, like, always bet on black. Yeah. Uh, they do glossy because it makes the phone look like jewelry and premium. Yeah, the sad part is tech readers starting to care more about the appearance than anything else, and the companies ran with it. Yeah, I don't know what the balance is, man. But like I said, I'd like to see a, I'd like to see a matte finish next year with the brushed railings. I think that would just be sick. I really do. I really do. I think that would be really nice. The thing is, majority of people are used to what uh, white and black colored phones, but not blue when you are. Yeah, so you hear, here's something interesting about this, this this year. So this year, my carrier had the choice of buying any of the colors. Normally, they are allowed to buy just the black. Normally, the carrier, like at the corporate level, they buy just black because that's safe. People know that. Um, and they could sell accessories, right? They could sell a case, whatever, right? And because they want to sell accessories because the attachment and everything like that and the money made, made from it. This year, they were allowed to bring any color. So when my carrier called me, when I called my guy, and I'm like, D I'm like, Rico, I need a phone. He's like, yeah, what color do you want? I'm like, what do you mean, what color? Because I thought I was going to get the the obsidian. He's like, yeah, we got the blue, we got the, the white. I'm like, what? No. I went the blue. Went with the blue. I had the blue one on my old phone for three years, and it still looks brand new. Dude, that's awesome, that's great. That's good. One thing I don't get is though is why put only put the temperature sensor on the fro. Okay, so here's the thing about the here's the thing about the temperature sensor. I know that the go to this is just my little grub on this. I think I think tech reviewers in general people are there. Okay. How do I word this? So so the temperature sensor is right here. We did a demo of it the other day. Okay, uh, Google has applied for permission to use it with humans. When you go through the FAQ with this, when you're setting it up, it tells you not to use it on people, or it's not going to be accurate. Okay. Here, here's the thing. I've seen a lot of people. Their go, their go-to has been, oh, well, they they paid for that tech. They paid for that tech because the COVID was still around, and then they couldn't back out of it, so they had to leave it in the. Fo no, they didn't. No, they didn't. There's a bigger picture here. Okay. There's a bigger picture. Here's that bigger picture. Here's that bigger picture. I think Google is seriously taking a run at doing more medical uh, and more deep dive into like fitness type stuff, but specifically medical. I can tell you as a father of two and a half kids that that it would be cool to have a temperature sensor thing to use right away on them rather than having to stick a thing in their, their mouth and wait and they move it around, it doesn't work and everything, okay? that That's useful. You know, I can find a use for it here and there. I will find a use for it, right? I haven't used it much. I've used it maybe three or four times outside of, since I got it. But I think it might be part of a bigger picture of them going into medical medical supplies, med you know, and stuff like that. Kind of like how Apple does the whole fitness thing and whatnot, right? So that this might be a play for that. This might be a test for that. I think there probably is a part of it where they, they wanted to do it or they did it because of the vid, because of, you know, things that were going on, right? But I don't think that's the only reason. That's that's too easy for people to say that's why they did it and that's why they had to keep it. That's just too easy. That's too easy of an answer. You can't tell me they decided to pull it back and not do it. So I just hope they get the approval for it and everything like that. And they push out a software update to say, hey, start using it on yourselves. And it'll be very useful this fall and everything. Right? I don't want to have to measure my my family and everything like that to see if they're, if they're sick. But it'll be super useful. The only thing I can think of is the restriction right generally on the space on the smaller pixel Trenton. 
Uh, yeah, the, the smaller size there. I wonder if they will do a limited edition blue color to match the phone. Uh, you're talking about 8? Pixel 8? I don't know. I don't think Google's ever done like a limited run. It's not like, it's not like Project Red or anything like that. I think we might see something for choices with the Pixel 8a, assuming the 8a happens. I can't see why it wouldn't. Zach, is it true that the Pixel 8's rear camera crops still taken with 50 megapixel sensor shooter down to 12 megapixel where the Pixel 8 Pro doesn't? Or is it just a nasty internet rumor? Well, let's test that right now. So is it true that the Pixel 8 rear camera, let's go, let's go here. Is it true the Pixel 8 camera crops stills taken with 50 megapixel main shooter down from 12 where the 8 Pro doesn't? I don't, I don't know to tell you the truth. Okay, let's unlock this. Let me just take a quick look here. Uh, oop, that's not that, let's go. Okay, settings. Okay, well, so first of all, okay, so let me just show you this. Okay, camera, right? Camera, okay. So you either go camera or go video, right? So when you go video, it crops in. But of course, like, it's, cause it's going 16 by nine, right? But there's no, there's no 50 megapixel on the eight. I had to show you that, I didn't want to just say it. Let me show you the eight pro, okay? Or maybe you're getting, maybe you might get, be getting things mixed up. Um, okay, so eight pro. Okay, so again, picture and video, but we're not, we're talking about the picture stuff, right? So now let me go into, no, not there. Let me just go back. So picture, we'll click on the uh, cog wheel there, and then we go to pro. No, so right here, it says 12 or 50, 12 or 50. Watch the screen. Okay, you see where the keyboard is right now? And the Androids, so 50, 12. 50, 12. There's no crop. This is on the 8 Pro. 12, 50, 12, oh, 12. Can't tap 12 or 50. Okay, this is the 8 Pro. Okay. So I hope that answers your question. There's no Pro mode on the 8. Okay. Does that help, Sharkfin? I hope that answers your question, man. Grid on phone wipe. Oh, that's how far behind I am. Okay. I wish later case would make more rugged case options. Uh, I guess I understood the point of the case is for them to be super thin, but protection is also important. Yeah, so here, here's my theory about that. I don't know this for sure, but as you guys know, like Lou and later case, whatever, they work closely with the D brand team. Uh, in fact, I think they actually ship out of the same warehouse in, in Mississauga. D brand has, of course, they're known for their skins, but D brand also has the grip case. And now they have their new ghost case, which I'm hoping to get a hold of the clear case that never yellows. Um, my theory is that Lou just wants to stick with the thin cases because that's what they're known for. And they don't want to step on each other's toes. Like D brand already does skins, which is pretty much like pretty close. Like if you don't like a skin, like this is the next step. If you don't like a skin and you don't like a bulky case, this is your best option. Okay. So they're not going to try to step on each other's toes. It's like if it's like if D brand decided to do like a thin case. So I think that's 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 that, that's kind of the thinking. They're not the same company. It's just that you know D brand does skins and cases, um, different types of cases like the clear, the the grip. You can put the, the skins on the grip case if you want to. And then if you want like a super thin case, then you get yourself a later case. And with the later case, because this is all he does, this is all Lou does. You can they support pretty much every device. You guys have been to the website. They're they're doing Pixel 8 Pro. They're doing Pixel 8. You know, Pataka is not doing pic any of the pixels this year. You know, um, if you got an Oppo or Xiaomi or whatever kind of thing, you're going to get those options with later case. Right. And not just like just one color. You've got multiple colors now. So, but yeah, I understand. I understand what you mean, man. 
Um, so I, I would say if you want like the protection, but you want to kind of stay in that same family, take a look at Dbrand, man. Take a look. Check it. Hey, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Say, <laughs> okay. Anchor is so much better in my opinion. What what's what's better for charging? Anchor makes good charging stuff. I just prefer the Nomad stuff. It's been a while since I actually have. Uh, they're not here. They're in my other room. Um, I have some of the Anchor Gan, Gan chargers. They're really good. They're like squared off though. They're not thin like that. I would love to get my hand on some of Anchor's new um, portable chargers, like the the like the bricks and everything like that that they've been showing off. I'd like to get my hands on some of those. They look really nice. Yeah. Bobby. Just got the two Nomads modern leather case for the Pixel, or sorry, <laughs> Pixel. <laughs> iPhone 15 Pro Max. Curious as well as this will be also be my first time trying Nomad. Dude, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I still have Nomad wallets and things like that that I got years ago. I had a Nomad case here for the longest time that I got back when I used to sell cell, cell phone accessories before I started doing this. So I used to actually sell Nomad stuff when I worked for an accessory company. They're a good company, small company, San Francisco. Chuck and the boys there, uh, you know, Noah and, and, uh, and he's one of the owners. They're all good people, man. Nomad's good people. They source good stuff. And they're, they're, they're leather. Oh, it smells so good. In fact, do I have one of their cases here? Hold on. I might have one here. Nope, they're up on the shelf on the other side here. Okay. Anyway, no. And we got the official Google case for Pix. Uh, yeah, I have it right here. Hold on. Okay. I don't have, I don't have the the 8 Pro, but I have the regular 8 here. Is it in here? Did I put it back in here? I did. Okay. So right here. Um, now, I don't have... Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to open this. Just give me one second. Hold on. Hold on. Trying to find last year's case. Give me a second here. Here it is. Okay. So I want you, I want you guys to see the difference here. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So uh, this is last year's case. Okay. And the, and the reason I want to show you this is so you can see the difference, kind of thing. Hold on a second here. Okay, cool. So this is last year's Pixel case. Uh, whether you had the 7 or 7 Pro, this was the case, okay? It was a hard shell, okay? It wasn't very flexible. Had these nice silver, had these nice buttons here, okay? This is last year's case. Okay, I'll show you down here. Last year. So kind of hard, like a shell, but it was still good. It was still really, really good. Like, I really liked using this case. This is so for the 7, 7 Pro, okay? That's last year. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll just leave it here. Pack it up after. Okay. This is this year's, which is uses like a silicon type material. Okay. So let me pop it out. Same similar packaging. And this was sent to me by Google with the eight when they sent me my embargo unit. Okay. And let me just show you guys here. So this is much more. Okay, but it's got that nice it's got that nice rubbery. Okay, same sort of G logo. Same sort of uh, you know the silver buttons there. Okay, and I'll show you guys down here as well. Actually, maybe you guys can see this here. They put this nice subtle pixel branding on the inside. That's it. There's nothing else, and it's a felt on the inside. It's a felt to help cradle your device. Okay, so I'll show you guys here. From there, there's your buttons, okay, and your Pixel logo. You can see the felt in there, okay. Again, this is for the 8. So, let me just pop this out. So, 8. 
Boom. Okay, nice clicky buttons. So, vo okay, let's just unlock this. So, volume up, volume down. Okay, power off. It's raised, so when you put the phone on a flat surface, the camera is raised up. Camera is recessed in there. Okay, it's got this nice texture. It's it's just it's just like the perfect grip. It's slippery. And I don't want to say slippery. It's got enough give, but it's not fully slippery. Okay, so bring you guys back over here. So there's the official case, and apparently they match all the colors. So like this is the hazel. Pixel 8 with the Hazel case. This is the official OEM case, okay? So I hope that helps you out. IR, hope you're still here. There you go. I'll put a chapter in for this, don't worry. That, that I really like that. When they sent that along, I was like, oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah, nice big openings for your third-party accessories. Okay, plenty big. It's got all the holes cut out. And like it's an OEM case, like you, you expect no less. And it's really nice. I really like the look of it. It feels good, it's nice and snug. It's not too tight, so if you do want to take it off, it's pretty simple. You just peel her back. All right, pops right out. Okay. There you go. Okay. Hope that helps. Hope that helps. Oh my gosh hour and a half live stream <laughs> was not I was not expecting to do this I just wanted to do Twitter kind of thing and then go but you guys are all here you guys are asking questions we're talking we're hanging out we're listening to some tunes you know what we're gonna do is the music is now repeating itself so I'm gonna put on the chill mix that I have here let's rewind that okay this is a little bit different and I'm just going to adjust the volume. There. Should be good there, guys. There we go. This is the chill mix. Again, this is crater mix still. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, let me bring up the chat here again. Can't believe people still use micro USB in 2023. <laughs> yeah, dude, like nearly 2024. There's, I have a couple, like literally two things around the house that use micro USB. So uh, Nomad has a, a, a three in one uh, that'll take care of you there. I can't get over how good the stream looks. Trent and I just love you so much, man. Thanks for helping with that. And BMAC. Uh, my dad still uses micro USB because he's just stubborn. <laughs> yeah, remember to stay hydrated. Oh, yeah. Cheers to everybody. Cheers to your health. Grab yourself some gamer subs. Get yourself a starter pack like this. Listen, listen. If you order gamer subs and use my code and everything, make sure you guys add on the free samples. Everybody gets to add on free samples when they order gamer subs. Okay. Add on the free samples. Okay. I just realized I haven't eaten today. Wait a minute. Did I eat? Does a granola bar count? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's go into the live chat here. Yeah, so this is what happens when you guys use the <laughs> emoji. They don't show up on the on the thing here, unfortunately. Uh, YouTube sent out a Lego play button, and I have a breakdown trying to build it. <gasps> really? Ross, if you're on Twitter X or whatever, tag me. I want to watch that. My son and I loved Lego. My son especially. He's just a Lego nut. He, my son, he built the AT-8 walker from like Star Wars uh, Last Jedi. He built that in two hours. Like, he, like he, it should have taken him a, a few days. <laughs> he did it in two hours. It was crazy. It was one of the biggest sets that he has. Still here. Awesome. Yeah, that's when I thought, okay. No freeze on my end. That was weird. Uh, Jimmy, guys, stay hydrated. There you go. No freeze. This is how far by high I am. Jeepers. Okay. I'm um, all about that blue later case. Yeah, the blue is nice. Where did I even put the case, though? Hold on. Oh, okay. I got stuff all over the place here. It's, it's more, I'm more organized than usual, but... Chris! 
Uh, oh, hold on. I'm going to move this first. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sure it doesn't because this 50 megapixel option of the 8 Pro is under the Pro sector. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't crop in. We just showed you guys that. Got my Pixel yesterday. So far, it's been a great phone as expected. Good, Chris. What color did you get? What color did Chris get? There's hazel, there's obsidian, and there's there's like that, that rose color. And the rose color looks nice and classy. I like it. Uh, Zach, I think the idea is that the regular Pixel 8 doesn't have the 12 megapixel to 50. No, it doesn't. Like the Pixel 8 Pro does. So it does. It just defaults to slow, defaults all main shooter down to 12. Well, yeah, because it's 12, right? Listen, listen. If you're posting stuff to social media, and you're just sharing with friends, unless you're actually doing pro stuff, like you want to print it, pro stuff online, whatever, you don't need the pro mode on the Pixel 8 Pro. Go with the regular, save some money. I'm telling you right now, if this didn't have pro, I'd be over here. But I really want to try pro mode and I've been having a lot of fun with it, okay? But I'm telling you, for 99% of other people, 90% of people, 69% of people, uh, this is going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Okay? Promise you. You know if you want pro mode. Don't get pro mode. Don't buy a pro phone just because it's pro. Right? No one cares what phone you have. No one cares. Oh, Sandy has an iPhone 12 Pro Max. She's a pro. Nobody cares. Shut up, Karen. Sorry. Uh, where did that come from? Love the sports ball company, so that's great to know. It looks like I'll need to sell another kidney so I can try out some more stuff. From <laughs> You'll get the opportunities, man. What is better, Anchor, Belkin, or Rav Power? Yes. They're all awesome, dude. They're all good. Personally? Yes. I'm not, I'm not trying to like sit on the fence here, but they're all good. They are all good. They really are. They all have their strong suits. They all have their different things. It's good for as a consumer to have choices. Okay. Michael Pepper. Pixel 8 by Elon. You use full resume 8 Pro. There you go. Thanks, Michael Pepper. Seems like an odd decision by Google. And, uh, I don't understand what you guys are still talking about here. Working on forces, photography, or artifice to get upside into the Pixel 8 Pro. I mean, you, you have to differentiate the devices, right, guys? I mean, unless you're doing outside of social media, right? So... Thanks for showing up, Pixel 8 case. Hey, IR, I appreciate you being here. By the way, uh, it's it's pinned at the top there, everybody. It's pinned at the top. Oh, I didn't it didn't pin here in my chat here. Um, Discord people, okay. Go join the Discord. Come hang out and be friends with all of us because we're cool. Uh, I'm gonna go through here. Catching up on the chat. Where did I go? Where did we go? Okay, you're on Threads? Yeah, I'm enjoying Threads. By the way, Threads did a really cool thing. I'm going to show you guys this. I, 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 if you don't like Threads, whatever, fine. Um, as a Canadian, I'm super on the fence about Threads because of how Meta has blocked Canadian news and everything. But I'm not affected directly. Uh, but I also understand. Let me show you guys something cool that they did. Um, okay, so check this out. Uh, okay, so on threads, check this out. Here's a post I did on threads. See how I tagged at made by Google, but it uses the Instagram logo, but then at Google Pixel and at Google there. Here's the thing. At Google Pixel and at Google are on threads, but made by Google is not. Made by Google is only on Instagram. You can now tag Instagram people on threads. Okay? So now they've connected the two more directly now. And so the Made by Google will be alerted of this and they can go check or they can log on to whatever account they need to. I just think that's really neat. So when I click on this now, when I click on Made by Google, See, it brings up this little thing here saying, maybe Google isn't on threads yet, but you can follow them in advance so that you would connect it. So I'm gonna say visit profile. Boom. That's a really cool update. And I I think it's really cool that they use the Instagram logo. That is aesthetically, I was like, oh, that's so pleasing. 
So now I can tag them and everything like that, right? I've been tagging the regular uh, Pixel account and everything, but now I can tag the at me by Google account, which is awesome. I just thought that was a really nice touch. Um, they've also introduced some better search options and apparently trending stuff is supposed to be coming soon too. When the trending stuff hits in news, you're going to see more people come over. Because think about the first time you signed up for, for Twitter. Think about the first time you signed up for Twitter. You signed up for Twitter because you wanted to follow a celebrity news sports. Usually news. I knew that I know that with my personal Twitter before I got rid of it, I signed up so I could follow news. Like what's going on in the world. Once the trending and the news stuff really gets pushed on there, it's gonna take off. It's gonna take off. Now you can already follow like CNN, Global News, CBS, whatever. You can follow these individual accounts. But <clears throat> Where, where Twitter is really powerful is the trending stuff. What's everybody talking about? What are the hashtags everybody's using? Once they get that trending stuff in there, whoo, it's going to take off. And um, you know what? Say what you will about you know speech and all that kind of crap, whatever. He's still believing all that kind of stuff. Um, I, 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 I would prefer a cleaner place. I like Twitter X. I do. But man, sometimes there's just so much crap. And, and you know what? If you if you if you surround yourself with good people and the good accounts are, for the most part, you don't see it. But once in a while, I come across things that people have retweeted, or it's just in the trending tabs there, or it's in the for you. And I'm like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Why did I see that? Anyway, off my soapbox. All right, going through the live chat here. Uh, the telephoto not being on the regular eight is a bummer. Ha uh, has to do with the size of the sensor and the yeah, yeah exactly yeah. And I don't see them ever changing that up. I think it's going to be like that for a while. You're always going to have the telephoto on the on the bigger unit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, yeah, that is a great update. And we're at the end of the chat. I got you that all good. Just wanted to choose the one, brother. There you go. There you go. All right, people. Wow. So. It is currently, wow, it's 1230. It's 1230 out here, out west. Uh, it's uh, 235, 36 uh, out east, 136 central, 1136 Pacific. Yeah. Um, I don't have context anymore, so I'm just kind of, I can't really read the chat right now. I'm like, and that's how blind I am. <laughs> uh, but man, look at this haircut. This hair is coming back and I'm not too happy about it. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go get my hair head shaved this weekend, I think. Or just get my wife to do it. All right. Going through here. Not going to lie. I think a lot of people did. It was easy to onboard people because of their Instagram. Most people have an Instagram for one reason or another. Um, Threads should not have launched without trending. They should have had that. Because, yeah, okay, cool. I can follow the same people, da, 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 And then what? They should have had the trending and the new stuff right away. They really should have. I know they were resistant to it. They put out some. They put out a couple of posts saying, oh, we're not going to put news in, da, 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 da. And now they are. Because that's people want they, People want to be able to read the news. They want to know what's going on in their world, right? right? Like, I like to see what's going on. So, speaking of, let's take a look at Twitter X. See if there's any shenanigans going on. Oh, there's Bobby. Bobby, I found you. Follow, like. Like. There you go, Bobby. Oh, cool. CE District YYC is following me now. Cool, cool, cool. The water is fine. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Found you, man. Awesome. I'll check out your stuff, man. I definitely will. I'm, inter I'm very interested in your Galaxy stuff. That now you brought up some of those things. Um, going through here. Uh, I'm still establishing my brand. I know the biggest part is getting on social media, so I will need. Okay, so here, here, here's my advice in regards to establishing your brand on social media, Bobby. Okay, here's my advice. Pick a platform, one platform, YouTube, Twitter X, Instagram. 
and go and go with it and go hard and establish your audience there. Okay. Most likely it's going to be YouTube. And when I say that, I mean, go in on using the community tab. I'm trying to get better at using the community tab. YouTube's going to be making a major push in the fall, like later on this fall for people to use the community tab, like almost to the point where it's going to feel like a Twitter X thread things. Okay. If you're not using the community tab now, start using it, people. Like, start using it more. Like, post when it, if you post something to Twitter X or Instagram, like, like text kind of thing, put it in the community tab. Use that. Put pictures. There's polls. There's all sorts of cool stuff. Use that because then it keeps people on because it keeps people on the platform, right? And then they'll go watch your videos, your shorts, and everything like that. And then my other piece of advice, uh, Bobby, would be pick a second platform where you can easily push stuff out. So. Uh, TikTok is good for discovery, going viral, this and that, right? Not necessarily making money unless you're doing brand deals or whatever, right? I like to do TikTok almost in a way that it's like a vlog. Lately, I've been putting some of the same reels, some of the same shorts on there, but there's also some other personal things and whatnot. I just, I like to just kind of dabble on there and have fun, okay? Um, if you're putting the same short form content on both TikTok, reels, YouTube, Okay, great. You're you're getting everything out there, but then someone's gonna say, "Well, if I'm seeing it on Shorts, why am I also following you on TikTok?" Or you know what I mean? So you got to think about that as well. So not not to make it too confusing, just pick a platform, go hard with it, all the features, and then pick a secondary. Because if you try to if you try to like post like Reels every day, TikTok, Blue Sky, Mastodon, Hive, Pebble, yeah, you just <laughs> it just gets so overwhelming, right? And you got to know where your audience is too. I'm going to start streaming more to Facebook. I used to stream to Facebook. I did. I stopped. I'm going to start doing it more because the people that are in the tech lifestyle stuff that I want to reach are over on Facebook. Right. So I'm definitely going to look into that. Why do I look orange all of a sudden? Do I look orange to you guys? No, there it goes. That was weird. That was weird. So that's my advice. Also, Bobby, watch and listen to guys like Roberto Blake. Daryl Eves, Nick Nimmin, those three guys, especially Roberto. Yeah. Roberto knows his stuff. He's a good guy. He's a good friend. Yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, that's helpful. I appreciate the advice. I think for me, it's going to be YouTube first and Twitter second. There you go. There you go. Yeah, at least with Twitter, you know you're, you're going to get the world kind of thing. And um, I think you kind of have a good idea of what Twitter X is like and how things have been and everything like that. So, yeah, you should be fine, man. Reach out anytime. Learn from my mistakes because I'm not a master at this at all. <laughs> I'm still figuring stuff out, man. I'm, it's a slow process. YouTube is a slow grind. It's, uh, people, people don't understand that. It's a slow grind. It's It does not happen overnight. And the overnight successes that you see are few and far between. Jimmy, Mr. Mr. Beast, he made crappy videos for years. And now look where he is. But he didn't blow up overnight. No way. I went to Vid Summit in 2019. Jimmy was in the crowd there. I didn't know who he was at the time. Nobody knew who he was. He was at Vid Summit 2019. Two years later, 2021, boom, blowing up. 2022, now he's like one of the guys that owns Vid Summit, right? Seriously, go look back at Mr. Beast's old content. Look at anybody's old content. It is crap. Make crappy videos and learn from it, right? Pixel 7 Pro, Pixel 8 Pro, Pixel 8. Nomad. <sighs> All right, people. Yes, yeah, science. What? Um, anyway. Hello there. People. It's been a minute. Is that what the kids say? <laughs> I think it might be time to um, to bring the ship in for a landing. Because I need to eat and actually finish recording my video for the other channel. Um, I've seen slow improvement in my content creation. It's it's such a slow grind. Yeah, dude. Like it's it's never overnight. It's never and then you know you only hear about the the successful people because they may have blown up, but. You, what you don't see is is the years of stuff doing 
you know, behind the scenes leading up to that. Nobody ever talks about that. Hey, they always talk about like how great this creator is and how many subscribers are. And they never talk about how they got there. Right. Like the work that had to be put in the connections, the networking, the mistakes made. Right. The sweat and tears, blood, sweat and tears. Right. No one ever talks about that. You know why they don't talk about it? Because it's not it's not it's not pretty. It's not graceful. It's not, you know, there's people like us that would respect it and everything like that. Like, okay, cool. But like, you don't talk about that on the news or whatever. You don't talk about that in social media. Look how I had to, I had to go through all this in order to get, no one ever talks about that. Right. But it's, it's part of the deal. That's why I, I, it drives me nuts when I talk to friends and family who are like, Oh, how come you haven't blown up yet? Aren't you putting stuff on the internet? Yeah, I am. Just hasn't taken off. And it, or in my case, it's just going kind of slow. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Oh, Don's still here. <laughs> Don's a good guy. Uh, the amount of steak that goes into average steak and tech podcast. Yeah, dude. Our steak last night was good. Hey, I took a picture. Woo. I put it on the Twitter X there. That was good, man. Thank you again for dinner. But yes, uh, Don and I have launched the steak and tech podcast or take uh, tech and steak. Steak and tech. I can't remember. Anyway, that's what we're going to call it. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure when the first podcast is going to be. Just whenever. <laughs> There's no podcast. Maybe there will be. But yeah, the Steak and Tech podcast. Is it the Tech and Space? Or Tech and Steak? Whatever. There's Steak. Um, we, we figured we'd call it that because we know that everybody loves steak. Everybody likes eating cow. And if you don't... Move. All right, people. Let's bring this ship in for a landing. I'm going to run the outro here. I appreciate everybody coming by, you guys hanging out, uh, all my bad takes and everything. If you just caught a little bit of today, I'll be putting in chapters, all that kind of stuff, so you can navigate around. Appreciate you guys. Next live stream, probably tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm having fun with this. I think people are having fun with this. We're always, we're always talking about the the cases, whatever. I still have cases and things coming in from Belroy. I got stuff coming in from Thinborn. I got stuff coming in from Dbrand. I got some power accessories from a company I can't talk about. I've got, what else do I have coming? I got stuff coming. I got lots of stuff to come in. Uh, so lots more pixel coverage coming. Published stuff is going to be over on Zach Talks Pixel very soon. I'm going to be publishing a video over there. Showing the full walkthrough going from pixel to pixel and how simple it is. With zero edits, zero cuts. I mean, personal information will be blurred, obviously. Are oh, you a vegan, dude? I mean, that's cool. I, I mean, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just bugging you, man. It's all good. Um, anyway, people, I'll let you guys all go. I appreciate everybody coming through today. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys during the next one. See you on the socials. Take care. Cheers.